you already know what time it is. June 20th, 2019. What's in the shop today? Fortnite. Night Demon Flare. Mega Bat. Holy harvesting tools. Holy weapon wraps. Holy shit. We're going to make two videos. It's got to be two videos. It's too much, too much, too much, too much. Night Beam. I like the vibe. I do like the vibe. I like the pants. Back bling is. Ooh, what's in there? A little brain freeze tier. Anyways, guys, my support of creator code, guys, is PISO with a zero. If you're not using me, please use somebody. You know, we're getting it. Yes! Her edit style is the pink on her. Yeah, the pink arms, the pink eyes, the pink hair. So, so her tattoos become pink. Eyes are pink. Everything's like illuminated for her edit style, by the way. Just noticed that. Sorry. The splintered light. This is kind of interesting. We haven't seen something like this. Okay, you know we're getting it. Yes! The Essence Animated. Pink and blue. Another pink and blue weapon wrap, guys. It is animated for five doll hairs. You know we're getting it. Yes! This glider is... <laughs> okay, the glider is actually pretty cool. It's a bat. Judging by the name, but it actually looks really cool. This looks pretty mean, guys. You know we're getting it. Yes! So, this wrap, I'm not super excited about. It's called Essence. But her back bling, it's like if two pieces of Laffy Taffy had a baby. That's what you get for the back bling. I mean, the wrap is whatever. I'm just tired of pink and blue. I say it all the time, but it's true, man. Looks good. I mean, it, it's not a lot of pink on the Barret, but other weapons... I mean, it looks good, obviously, with these outfits. Um, the baller is going to be whatever, as it usually is. Um, you can only see a little bit of pink on the front. Can't really see a lot of animation on the actual baller itself. You can see it on the hoverboard pretty good. Looks good on the quad crasher. It's just like, once you have one peaky blue wrap, do you really need more? Really? Do you really, do we need this many Fortnite? Yo, you can really get a good view of the back bling now. The Laffy Taffy baby. That's what I'm calling it. In terms of ADSing, there's a loss of visibility as we uh, assumed there wouldn't be. Looks good. Crouching. Crouching and walking. The pickaxe though. Let's get a equip, unequip up here. Why not? We got Hades helping. Thank you, Hades. The sound is very pleasing to me. It's got a decent sound. Hitting opponents with shield and without. Without shield. It's not a bad sound on the uh, actual hitting opponents. It's not bad. Harvesting on the materials. You can still hear that nice... I don't, I don't know how to explain the sound. But you can hear it. The glider, I'm very interested to see. Um, was it Mega Bat? Something with a bat in it. So as you're going forward, backwards. Ooh, the wings look good when you're going backwards. Left and right was eh, what you would expect. There's really no contrails for like visual effects, but it is a rare glider. Mega Bat. The voice sounds cool. It kind of, kind of reminds me of the uh, the Avengers one. Let's just do one more, and then we'll get some sweaty 90s. It looks pretty. I think it looks pretty cool, though. It it does take up a little bit of your screen. Uh, excuse me, but um, I think it's fair. I think it's fair. I'll say that. It's fair. <laughs> you know what time it is? If I can get up here, I'll do it right here. Sweaty 90s. Someone asked me, how are you a season one player and your 90s still suck? And I was like. 
Because 2090 is in the game, boy. Nightbeam, just keep in mind, she does have the edit style. So I'm going to imagine her with a lot of pink and without it as well. Because she does have some pink here. But with the default, she has a lot more. So just keep that in mind when we go through these back blings. Without a back bling, though, very nice. No, that's what it came with. I kind of like that. That's cool. Eh. eh. Not so much. Not yet. Not seeing anything that's popping out at me yet. Her pants are almost like a prismatic vibe. Like that. Or like a chameleon color scheme almost. Like they almost changed color from different angles. That looks pretty cool. Cut a bow look good too. Those are okay. No, thank you. Not bad. Kind of a little bit brighter than her jacket. Her jacket almost has um her jacket has a cool texture on her sleeves. It's almost like scales. Almost. I like the jacket. Again, very short cut jackets. I guess that's what the future holds, guys. I guess Fortnite knows and we don't. We're talking waist high jackets only. Pink and blue, everything. <laughs> Not the mama. Those are actually I kind of like those. Eh. Uh, they kind of contoured the stripe on her pants. I didn't realize her, her suit zipped all the way up in the front either. That's pretty cool. I actually, I think I would probably maybe prefer the default style. Unless you're running like something pink. I think I'd rather not have her arms like that. But that is a cool feature. That her tattoos are um, animated like that. Animated tattoos? Have we had that before? Off the top of my head, I'm not sure if we have. That's kind of cool, Mertink. A little bulky though. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool skin, man. No armor. Doesn't look like a Battle Royale character at all whatsoever, which I like. That's usually what I go for um, for my favorite outfits. Now, I know the Black Knight looks like, a, you know, he could be in the battle, but um, the Bronze Age in the Christmas 10. He does have a little bit of leg armor, but Stage Slayer has just some jeans on, a leather jacket, a top hat. Very cool skin. Oh, I like Great Britain. That looks really good, actually. That looks good. Uh, not so much. Mm, that looks great. I think I liked Great Britain because it's not a backlink you use a lot. I would say for me personally with the Alpine A, so I'm running like a... Um, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what I would use this backlink on right now. But I know that I've used it a handful of times. The Great Britain edit style. But hey... Pretty cool. That might be... Call me crazy. It might be one of my favorites so far. was Great Britain. I feel like... Did we miss like the whole... No, we didn't miss six string. I need to look at this again. Because that looks really good too. I feel like I just completely breezed over it in my mind. I like that. I like that. Interesting. Kimli Aiko. That's pretty cool. Um, Maybe the black and yellow. We're stretching. We're stretching, guys. Um, I like the simplicity. Purple inlay survey says, yeah, it's not bad. Cool. Now imagine less pink for some of these back blings because of her tattoos will not be animated. Her hair will be a darker pink. It's still going to be pink though. It's going to be like not so, not as illuminated right now. I kind of hate to say it it's not bad not bad cool simple i like that ah a little too bright pretty cool interesting but not so much ghost portal i probably go blue purple was okay too um mm, they're okay it's always a witchy bag it's not bad that looks very cool Ramirez. I kind of like that. It doesn't make sense though, but I do like it. Hey, Nisha hunting fresh at the kitchen. That's eh, a little, yeah, they're okay. They're okay. Guitar's not bad. Meow. Um, purple or red. I kind of like the red too, in a weird way. Sell those already. Ooh, this should look okay. Well, it's not bad. Sellers already. 
Great Britain was probably my favorite, though. I'll say it again one more time. Big Chunk is in the house. Uh, it kind of matches her jumper, her jump shoes she's wearing, kind of. We're stretching, though, with Chunk is. Black and yellow, mm, It's I kind of almost like it, but then again, I just, I don't know. On dot dot C. Um, not feeling those. That's not bad, actually. So, um, I don't know if there's a little confusion, guys, for Peep This Combo. Um, but it has to be something that was released in the month of June. Or it's not going to count. I'm trying to do my Peep This Combos recapping at least one cosmetic that was released in the month of June. Whether it be Outfit, Back Bling, Harvesting Tool, Glider. Um, I feel like wraps are a stretch and contrails, but outfit, glider, harvesting tool, and back bling. Any of those released in June will count. And if it happens to be like the Fort Bites thing where they, you know, we just were able to get enough, then that, that's fine. I'll even take uh, the new edit styles that we've gotten um, the last like two patches as well to count as well. So like Star Spangled Ranger, Star Spangled Trooper, and then the Hazard Agent and the Toxic Trooper as well. We can use those. I believe those came out in June. Like, right in the beginning of June, I think we got those edit styles for Hazard Agent and Toxic Trooper. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that can count. Because it did come out in June, technically. The new edit styles. Just for further reference. It's got to be something in the month of June. In those four categories, at least. Outfit, backwing, harvesting tool. Glider. Got to be one of those four. I like that. Back to the showcase here. <laughs> that looks good too. Uh, those were interesting. I liked um, the bright bag more. That's cool. Um, yeah, kind of. Oof. I don't like that back bling, but color wise, sure. Why not? Uh, a little too dark. I, I am afraid that we're going to get more combos with her than the male. But the mail's going to be a different video as it's going to be super long. So I'm going to split these up into two videos. So if you're watching this and it's only the female, the mail will be out shortly after. I promise. Pretty, um, pretty interesting skins. Are they worth <sighs> epic rarity only because I think Fortnite is just throwing in an edit style to bump up the price on um, certain outfits. I think these could have possibly been a rare. I don't know if the edit style gives it that much more pizzazz. If it just would have came out with her looking like this, I think it could have been a rare with her back playing, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are worth an epic rarity. You guys let me know. Because I'm not sure how I feel about both of them being epic. I don't know. And the Jansport back bling. So, with Nightbeam, does she match the game rarity? Again, I'm a little torn, but because of the edit style, the eyes, the hair, and the tattoos, um, the tattoos give it a different vibe we haven't seen, so I guess it is worth epic rarity. Now that I think about it, do you like the color scheme? A lot of pink and blue this season, but I think it contours well with her jumper, which is kind of like a dark green prismatic. I actually think it looks okay. No matter the decent amount, I'll give it one out of two there. You know, loss of visibility? Absolutely not. And will I use it regularly? I'll give it a one out of two. So 8 out of 10 for Night Beam. Yoink! Mega Bat. Does the magic in rarity? Absolutely. Do we like the color scheme? White and gold? I think it's cool. Deploy sound is not bad. Not bad. 2 out of 2. Visual effects? There are none. Um, other than, yeah, it's somewhat interactive uh, when you're moving. Um, like it does um, transition and move around. So I'll give it a 2 out of 2 there. And will I use it? I might. I might. 9 out of 10. Yoink. All right. Splintered light does the in rarity. I would say, yeah. I think it does. Two out of two. The color scheme. Ugh. Pink and blue on the pickaxe. Um, I guess we do. Eclipse sound is decent. Impact swing sound. I like the swing sound. Impact is okay. Like about one out of two. And will I use it? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Seven out of ten. Yoink. The weapon wrap, I'm tired of seeing this color scheme. I am I'm really tired of it. I'm going to look at it as if 
We haven't had a pink and blue wrap. And with that, I think it looks pretty cool. And it's got the black gradient separating the pink and the blue, which is pretty cool. I didn't really realize that before. It's not a huge difference. The 9.8 <laughs> out of 10. Yoink. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.